Maggie said, I don't need the house no more. <laughs>guys it's your girl Aisha aka Geek XX Chic and we are back with another reaction to The Walking Dead. We're now into episode 16 of the final season which is called Acts of God. So that's pretty deep. The last episode we saw the return of someone who we probably did not need to see ever again that of Daryl's ex. She has been cornered by Hornsby who apparently has been hunting her for some time and he has offered her a job and this doesn't surprise me because we know that Hornsby lost his uh his perfect little crazy merc on a leash that he had in the last couple of episodes. He needs somebody else who can execute his dirtier work. We all know that Leah fits the bill. And what's more, we also know that she also has a vendetta against several of the people that are in Hilltop as well as inside of the Commonwealth. So it's going to be kind of a doubly beneficial situation for her unless somehow someone can get to her. But I feel like the days of Daryl being able to appeal to her are long gone. Outside of that, of course, we saw that Hornsby very much wanted to find a way to pin the whole situation that happened at the uh, building, the, the apartment building on Hilltop, but he wasn't able to find enough evidence. But that does not mean that he's ready to walk away from his dream of getting Hilltop and Oceanside and uh, Alexandria under his clutches. We still don't know exactly the reason for it, but he's not done with that plan. And um, I do think that he's going to use Leah to somehow make that happen with or without um, their consent. So yeah, with that, we're all kind of caught up to what we saw back in the first episode when we came back from hiatus. And we're just gonna have to see where things go from here. I feel like Hornsby is going to make a move and it's probably going to be against Hilltop. I'm hoping it's nothing that's going to be too tragic, but we do know, like I said, that Leah's got a huge raging revenge hard on when it comes to Maggie in particular because she is the person who ended up going against the deal and um, killing all the people that were in her her group. So things are probably going to get messy in this episode, but we're not going to know until we jump in. So I'm about to do that. But before I do, if it's your first time to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. If you like what you're seeing here, I'd appreciate it if you show some love to the like button and also have some comments below. You know, it just helps the girl get, you know, seen on the algorithm. It means a lot to me because it's a little love here. We appreciate that. And if you like it a lot here, then go ahead hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when I do more reactions. This is the final season of The Walking Dead, but I do a lot of shows that are in the same vein of those fantasy type of shows. So hopefully you'll like it here and you'll stick around. Same goes for those of you who've been here before. Thanks for coming back. And please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you have not done that already. All right, let's get into episode 16 right about now. Why are they just milling around again? There's so many. What are these? Bugs? All right. I feel like that was a that was a flash forward. I feel like we're going to start with uh, this episode with one of those 25 hours earlier or something like that. See? One act of God ago. Okay. I don't want to go. Hmm. It's only temporary, okay? So I'll be back before you know it. Okay? Mm. He's like, I've heard this before. Last time you said that, you were gone for days. <laughs> Hers is a lot more temperamental than Judith was about this stuff, understandably, but still. I guess the difference is that Judith has always been like kind of <laughs> handed off to different people in the community since she was a baby, whereas Herschel, it was just him and Maggie for a long time. So yeah, I guess he would be a little bit more sensitive about her leaving for long periods than other kids in the same situation. Oh, things moved. Wow. Okay, Eugene just be like jumping into these relationships quick. Thought we had a lovely night, didn't we? Did we? We did. Hmm. Sure who? You are the most remarkable human I've ever met in my heretofore on a wonderful life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Weren't you just saying this about another woman just a few episodes ago? I'm not going to be mad at it. Eugene did work very hard for this booty call. This place pushes on people to keep things the same. I just worry they'll keep pushing till we all break. Very valid fear and possibility, but if it's broken, the only way you're ever gonna try to fix it is if you, you know, break it more. Yeah. Wow, y'all are pretty aggressive. We're gonna leave you. Weren't you just talking some smack about talking earlier? Help yourself. Mercer would be so ashamed. That was not handled well. 
I love that Daryl didn't even try to help him. He's like, oh, hmm, that looks bad for you. We need to watch our backs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hornsby's trying to make sure y'all just come up missing. What is with, uh, is that way of, do we have a plague going on here? Is this the locusts coming in from Egypt? What's happening? You may not like it, but I promise you, it is the right choice. Yeah. You do kind of have to trust her. It's a mama's job, but I agree. That's, that's, um, that makes sense. That makes much more sense than what Maggie was saying earlier. She maybe should have told the people in her little camp there that it's all about choices and not necessarily giving up food, water, and shelter. <laughs> You get the scalp of the woman who killed your family, and I finally get to do my job without interference. Everybody wins. Shut up. That's God saying that he hates both of you. I'll need to see her when she's dead. Okay, psycho, bye. We going underground? I keep forgetting that, yeah, as a whisperer, there was a lot of those weird haunts that the, those guys had. Mm, let me help you. It's like our first date. Oh, that's where Negan went. Uh-oh. Hi, Herschel. <sighs> Remember that deal about, you know, us killing each other? Can we just wait on that? Not, not quite yet. I need you to stay here with Herschel, with those others. Yeah, you should and stay since point. you're carrying precious cargo. But Negan can go. Negan's pretty lethal. Just wouldn't be Negan without at least one ball reference. We got it out of the way. We're waiting for you when this is done. Yes, I think it's best you stay here. I mean, I guess the show really needed something big to get Maggie to get on the, the page of not wanting to shoot Negan directly in the face, but I still don't think it's necessarily um, 100% like a, a cleared slate. You know what I mean? Oh, snap, there's a lot of you mofo. Yeah, bye. That kind of reminds me, like it hasn't happened in my hometown, but in the province next to me, they used to have this thing where like locusts would come through, no grasshoppers, sorry. And they get like swarms of them and it would be so bad that like windshields would be covered with like the dead bugs and like roads would just be like covered in grasshopper guts. It's horrible when a bunch of bugs come across like that. It's really nasty. One last sweep then, huh? Uh-huh. All right, great. Right. Sure. Aaron's like, remember I have a mace for an arm. Okay. Yeah, I saw that nod. They're like, yep, nope, this isn't gonna go down well. Down! Oh! Just turn to a video game real quick. <gasps> no! The case of Grays. Oh. Yeah, y'all need to find a defensible position because you're not in one right now. Bitch. Uh, Daryl, why are you knocking folks out? These guys are shooting to kill? I mean, I know they're following orders, but still. I don't think we have the luxury of just being nice here. Damn, Aaron! Cover me, cover me! Cover yo. Wait a minute. Why is, why is a wild kingdom up in this bitch? <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> Daryl, do it. I don't care if you train with these people. They're not your friends right now. That's right. Gabe's got the right idea. What you reaching for there, pal? Where you going? You think you're gonna make it before the walker gets to you? Cause I don't think you will. <sighs> it was at this moment where this guy knew he effed up. It's like, well, I guess I could leave you here. Hmm, do you see the situation now? It won't be pretty. It'll hurt a lot. Die slow. Tell the truth. Die anyway. How do you want to clear the field? Thank you. You ain't here anymore. Bitch. <laughs> um, you keep thinking you're dealing with people who are new, Horns B. You really think you're sitting soft behind these walls and you think you know anything? We gathered up the scattered pieces and we put them back together. Again. Meanwhile, this chick's practicing lame-ass speeches that no one gives a crap about. You okay? 
No, I hate your face. Far away. Kind of want to push you out that window. How about starting a scholarship fund for less fortunate families? I put together a proposal. And we could... Um, I don't deal with the poor. Of course, I love your out of the box thinking, but how's that out of the box? Any extra funds go right back into the event. It's our biggest day of the year. Sure. An event. That's what we care about right now in a in a zombie apocalypse. You're leaving soon too, right? Hmm. Right behind you. Double entendre. I see her kind of seeing if that was one last check to see if Pamela really was trash and now she knows she is. She don't give a damn about the poor. I feel like this is not careful. Watch your six, Max, always. She's actually at a work dinner, but I can get word to her for you. Yeah, damn. Word. You know your mama don't like you when you can't even connect with her directly. Word to her for me. Her only child. Her only mistake, apparently. Kathy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you dickhead. Ugh. The way I would have need him so hard in the balls. Home Alone Trap. Maggie said, I don't need the house no mo. You ready, bud? It's ever. Mm. I feel like we're gonna lose this kid. Marco! Freaking knew it. He was way too nice and also too happy. Oh shit, it's Leah. Yeah, she ain't gonna miss. Darkness is gonna be your only friend tonight. Okay, now we're back to where we started. I'm doing this my way. Your way got my men killed. Collateral damage. Yeah, she don't give a damn about you or your men, dummy. I wonder if Leah would kill Daryl. I feel like she would, but if there's anyone who's gonna trip her up, it's gonna be him. What is it? It's Leah's. Leah. At least he knows now the full chessboard. I think we should split up a couple more ground. Yeah, Daryl's like, I don't think y'all are ready to handle her. <laughs> her being a merc and all. I feel like Daryl's gonna try to save her again and I just don't, those days are over, Daryl. I'll leave Leah and the others away. I am not gonna leave you. I will not risk losing you two. We can handle ourselves, Maggie, okay? Mm, not against Leah. Codes, maybe coordinates? Oh, you think this is about where they're hiding? I haven't seen her in a minute. I forgot she was even in the Commonwealth. I haven't seen her since she was serving drinks at a party. Sorry, I'm late. Trying to round up a few more for the call. Can you lock the door? And I got a whole network. Ready and willing to ride at dawn. Okay, we getting poetical. We ride at dawn. I kind of like Ezekiel the Freedom Fighter. Maybe he can help take over this place. I just don't want him to die. Daryl, will you hurry up and find your woman, please? Oh, it's too quiet. I don't like this. No ambient music, nothing. Get down. Why are you standing? The way I'd be like military crawling on the ground right now. Maggie, why are you shooting unless you have a clear shot? You already know you got like six bullets. knew that was gonna happen. I don't know why you would follow her, Maggie. Oh, of course Leah's gonna wanna draw it out. All those years with Pope, hey? I have waited for this moment for a long time. Don't care. By the time I'm done, everyone you love will be dead. Why are you still alive, Hornsby? It's so annoying. I killed your people because it was what I wanted. Period. This is what you want, Leah. Yep. Own it. You want it, so do it. Hmm. I don't know, Maggie. Hand to hand with a merc. Wound, Maggie. I'm sorry. You got to play dirty on this one. Hit her leg. Get her leg. Don't play nice. 
Between the legs. Ooh, a knife fight. Okay. Ooh, that had to hurt. Okay. Now we even. I knew that was coming. Strangling takes really long. Daryl. Thank you. Or was it Hornsby? Thank you. That's what you should have done two weeks ago. But anyway. Thank you for making it quick, Daryl. I was afraid he was going to get all emotional with it. But he did warn her to stay away. Shoot. Why wouldn't he shoot Hornsby? He had a clear shot. Oh, he did shoot at him. Good job. Your ugly ass face. Now it matches the inside, bitch. Oh, was this your secret weapon? This one right here? Was this the, your key to your your future? Did we break it? Y'all are walking? Whole army chasing you and you're just gonna be like, let's just take a casual stroll. I'd be running for the next six weeks. Yeah, <laughs> that's never gonna be okay, Negan, ever. And you know, he's got even more reason than, than Maggie to never forgive you. <laughs> he's like, I like your wife though. <laughs> Kids be petty, you know, they really do. Look at her in the all white ceremonial cloths to take this chick down. What's the problem, Pam? <gasps> Who would write such a thing? So this is how horns be gonna strike now. I mean, I had a feeling it was always gonna go this way anyways, because nobody just fixes all your stuff for free. <laughs> I mean, it seems like so lame. Like you put these flags on nothingness. Both places are abandoned. What have you won? What have you gained? Oh, well, I guess, I guess these poor people have to suffer, but it is what it is. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot about Oceanside. Sorry about y'all. Maggie really didn't have time to save y'all. Are you gonna kill them all? I see. And that's it. Ooh, we end on a somber note. Well, I've got some thoughts about this episode, guys, which I'm going to talk about in my review video, which will be coming up very shortly. If you're interested, please check that out. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.